Hello Square back and this time we have a nice laptop to repair. This is a Asus ROG Zephyrus G15. Uh, 2021 model with RTX 3070. The problem with this one, pressing the power button, the laptop it is dead. Now let's check the customer email. So what the customer is saying after a regular use doesn't turn back on with battery or when the battery is disconnected. So the laptop is now working through the main power adapter or USB PD. I don't think a gaming laptop it will work on the USB-C. A lab gaming laptop needs a lot of current. I mean, I never seen like a serious gaming machine to work on USB-C. I took it to a local repair shop and using a multimeter they confirmed the charger is not at fault and motherboard seems to not have any power reaching core components. Interesting fold, right? Kind of classic for a gaming laptop. But yeah, I will say let's open the laptop and let's have a look inside. Yeah, before we are plugging the power. Nah, there's no power to plug in. I don't have the charger. But at least we can figure it out or we can use uh, the power supply. And the laptop, it's open. Yeah, that's a nice motherboard. So let's disconnect the battery and check first if the main power is shorted. That's what is important. We can see some big capacitors here. Plus of the capacitor, zero ohms. Now the good part is actually the main power has exactly zero ohms or near zero ohms which can be a very shorted CPU, can be a shorted uh, MOSFET on the GPU, and that's kind of okay because we can disable the GPU, or most likely can be a capacitor. It is the customer a lucky one? That's the question. Hmm? Hopefully this is ground and plus exactly on the capacitor, and it's taking 3 amps and 0, nah, nah, it's not a capacitor, nah. I don't think it's a capacitor, the resistance is too high. We've seen the voltage is like 1 volt. But who knows, maybe it's a capacitor being shortened, having high resistance. We're gonna find out soon, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the thermal camera, it is on. So it's taking 3.5 amps, and what is shorted, now I can't see anything on the board. Now it's something under the heatsink, right? Yeah, it's something under, uh, under heatsink. Let's take out the heatsink and let's check, but it doesn't look good. No. And the heat sink is out. Wow, we have liquid metal. I mean, I can't believe, check here. So the liquid metal is not bonded exactly in the middle of the CPU. Sadly. Interesting, right? Here, here we have... Uh, how the liquid metal got here? You think it got here? I mean, I can see here a cut, or happened just now when I took out the heatsink. Huh? Anyway, coming with power, and what is shorted? No, the CPU is looking good. Uh, the GPU is slightly warm, but what is that? Wait, what is that? So here, somewhere, here, is something which is getting hot. You think it's the VRAM? I mean, here is the EC chip and all the stuff. Let's check one more time. Uh... Here somewhere. Capacitor? Huh? 
you think can be a capacitor? Let's uh, check under the microscope there, but those are like good news. Can this really, truly be like an easy pizza job? You think it's my lucky day? I mean, here... I mean, I can't see the, 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 the capacitor being shorted, but I'm going to come with alcohol. Not sure if it's here or here. Um, coming with the power supply, ground, and plus, check that capacitor. But for me, I don't know, it's, it's weird. I mean, it's like the fault is on the other side of the board. You think the fault is actually on the other side of the board? Let's uh, try to lower the current. And uh, try to figure it out if it's on this side of the board or the other side. So two amps. Let me lower even to like one amp. Yeah, something like that. Actually, no. Yeah, one amp. So let's see one more time. Coming with current. I mean, the heat is so faded, you can see it. But can be this capacitor. Yeah, it can be. Okay, let's remove that capacitor. But happy is nothing here, you know? I'm, I'm, I'm truly happy. So capacitor, let's take the capacitor out. Doji manufacturer didn't feed other capacitor, you see. So here was supposed to be another capacitor. Okay, and the capacitor is out. Let's check for short. So checking for short, it's not short, can't believe, check here, no short. And our capacitor, our capacitor, short, check that, check that, you can see, zero ohms. But the capacitor is looking good, it's not cracked, nothing. But because uh, the Doji manufacturer, they didn't feed the second capacitor, we have to we have to replace the capacitor, yeah. And I have only one capacitor left on this board. Only this one. You remember we took like one every time uh, in the last videos. And the capacitor is out. Moving the capacitor here. What you said is smaller. Yeah, but the size doesn't matter, right? You can't like body shaming the capacitor. He will do the job properly. I'm pretty sure about that. Good, let me come with the solder iron. A solder in the capacitor. Check that. Proper nice, right? Yeah. So what about now? Hmm? Let me put this thingy back the way it was. Like that. Good. Let's sort the thing with the... The maple is not shorted, right? No. We can check one more time. So from here... Here... No, it's not short. Good. Let's all sort the problem with the, with the liquid metal. 
I mean, it was cracked from before, I believe. Check here. And we have this liquid metal which went, which went inside. So I'm going to use a cotton bud and uh, uh, some alcohol. Try to get the things out. Okay, that sucks. You know what? I don't want uh, liquid metal under the CPU. That's the last thing I want. Especially now after we repair the laptop. No, I don't think the, the liquid metal it will go under the CPU. Because we have that glue thingy. I thought, you know, the glue is it's, uh, it's coming off aside from, uh, from the CPU, but it's not. It's actually proper stuck there. So yeah, we are fine. We are fine. Not sure about this liquid metal. Good. Let's put the liquid metal here. Where it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be on the middle of the CPU where it's actually, you know, the heat. No, it is enough. No, no, it is fine. It doesn't need more. Perfect. So now it is a different story, right? On the heat sink, we have this. You have to understand if you don't have liquid metal bonded with the metal, you will have no heat transfer. This is so important. I mean, you really have to do it to be sure. The liquid metal is bonded. And uh, on the shop, uh, where before we are usually charging like 80 pounds for this job. Not because, not because it's a hard job, but just because, you know, it's uh, risky. When the liquid metal is not bonded, actually the heat transfer is worse compared to like normal thermal paste. And you won't see like a, you won't see like overheating issue, no, because the CPU is to lower the clock to maintain the heat. So you just feel like the computer is slower. But the heat sink it is clean. Let's put the heat sink back. You know what? I don't remember to take out these screws. Do you think someone worked here before? I think it's very possible. I'm pretty sure I didn't took out... I don't even have extra screw. So I have the CPU screw, 4 screw, and that's all. So probably someone took out the heatsink before. Yeah. I was feeling guilty, like I split the liquid metal uh, around. The heatsink is back. Let's connect the screen. The screen is connected. We have the Wi Fi antenna. Wi Fi antenna is back. Good. So, plug in the battery. And. Mm -hmm. We have no power on the battery. Of course we have no power. So let's push some current. Battery 15 point something. Good. Because you have to activate the battery. The battery get disconnected when it's a short. And now the battery is taking one amp. Check that. And we have like 15.4, which means the battery really discharged. 2.6 amps and the battery is charging. I mean, probably should charge normally. So let's go to like 19 on a lot of current and coming on the charging port here. Check on the screen. 1.4 amps. 
So, and I can see the orange light here on the bottom, but you probably you can't see it. Yeah, here, you can see it? Yeah, here. So the laptop, it is charging. It's on, check here, we have backlight on the keyboard. Let's wait because we reset the BIOS. It's no BIOS battery on the motherboard. We should see picture. We have picture, huh? What do you think about that? I mean, we do have an M2 drive. I'm not sure what he's saying on the screen. I mean, I don't know. Okay, here we have some customer files, yeah? But the laptop, it is working, yeah. I believe it's Linux, uh, ins Linux installed. Hmm? It's a well done job or not? Just say it. Perfect. This is a lucky customer. He should, uh, you know, should buy some uh, lottery tickets. I believe he should be happy twice because he fixed the board. But more important, it's actually bonding the liquid metal with the CPU. So now the laptop has, you know, the performance when uh, it was like new. So I'm going to stop here. I will say thank you for watching. You know, like, subscribe if you like the video. And uh, pay greater attention on liquid metal, yeah? Just because i seen, like, probably like every laptop or every, like, console. In the middle, you have no liquid metal, so no heat transfer, so no performance, okay? See you on the next one. Bye. Hey, if you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button, and you can get instantly access to our uh, members-only cool collection and uh, discord private channels for support with your repairs also you can have a look on our uh, united kingdom uh, ebay where you can find some cool and unique products united states ebay store or our patreon page thank you